everyone. I am Mom Emily F. Mateo from Taytay Senior High School. My students call me Mommy Teo. Our most essential learning competency for today is apply the definition of the derivative of a function at a given number. Let's do it. The definition of the derivative. Let f be a function defined on an open interval i and let x sub 0 be an element of course of the open interval the derivative of f at x sub 0 is defined to be f prime this one is read as f prime f prime of x sub 0 is equal to the limit of f of x the value of the function of course minus f of x sub 0 over x minus x sub 0 as x approaches x sub 0. If this limit exists, that is the derivative of f at x sub 0 is the slope of the tangent line at x sub 0, f of x sub 0 if it Take exists. These examples, find f prime of 1 for each of the following functions, letter A. That is f of x is equal to 3x minus 1. So based on the definition, we need to get f of x sub 0. So that is our x sub 0 is equal to, of course, 1. So we have f of 1 is equal to 3 times 1 minus 1. Our f of 1 is equal to 3 minus 1 is 2. Okay, so our f of x sub 0 is equal to, of course, 2. Now, going back to the definition, that is f prime of x sub 0 is equal to the limit of f of x, that is 3x minus 1, minus f of x sub 0 is 2, over x minus x sub 0 is 1. Okay, so this one is x approaches 1. So we have now our f prime of 1 is equal now to the limit of 3x minus 3. x minus 1 is x approaches 1. So... We can get now the CMF of this. This is x minus 1. This is x minus 1. So as x approaches 1. So therefore, our derivative of f prime of 1 is equal to 3. Example B, we have f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 4. Our x sub 0 is, of course, 1. f of x sub 0, let's find it. This is f of 1 is equal to 2, 1 squared plus 4. So we have 2 times 1 plus 4. We have 6. This one is your f of x sub 0. This one is 6. Now, using this, formula the definition f prime of x sub 0 which is 1 is equal to the limit of 2x squared plus 4 minus 6 over x minus 1 x approaches 1 so we have here limit of 2x squared minus 2 x minus 1 x approaches 1 so therefore we have let us simplify it 2x squared minus 1 over x minus 1 this one is x approaches 1 we can factor this one as x minus 1 is and x plus 1 we can now simplify this one this is f prime of 1 is equal to the limit of 2 I can factor this as x minus 1, x plus 1, factoring difference of 2 squares over x minus 1 as x approaches 1. This will be cancelled. And then you substitute all x's by 1, so that will be 2 times 1 plus 1. 
So this one is equal to 2 times 2, that is 4. That is f prime of 1. Okay. Let us now go to letter C. We have f of x is equal to 2x over x plus 1. Again, our x sub 0 is of course 1. So let's find f of 1. This is 2 times 1, 1 plus 1. This is 2 over 2. So our f of 1 is 1. So our f of x sub 0 is also equal to 1 because 2 over 2 is of course 1. Next step, we need to of course get the limit now. I will be raising this one. So this is f prime of x is equal to the limit of 2x over x plus 1 minus 1 over x minus 1. So x approaches as x approaches 1. So we can now simplify it. This is the limit of 2x minus x plus 1 over x plus 1 over x minus 1 as x approaches 1. So this is equal now to, let us simplify, the limit of, this is 2x minus x is x, negative 1 over x minus 1 x plus 1 rather, times the reciprocal of this, 1 over x minus 1. So we can cancel this and this one, this is as x approaches 1. So f prime of, of course, 1. f prime of 1 is equal now to, let us substitute now 1 there, that is 1 over 1 plus 1. So we have 1 over 2, that is f prime of example d we have f of x is equal to square root of x plus 8 again our x sub 0 is equal to 1 based on this so let's find f of 1 that will be 1 plus 8 is equal to square root of 9 so f of 1 is equal to 3 so we have f of x sub 0 is equal to 3 the square root of 9 is, of course, 3. Now, after that, let us now get f of prime 1, the limit of f of x, that is the square root of x plus 8, minus 3, over x minus 1, as x approaches 1. Okay. So, let us now rationalize the numerator by, of course, getting its conjugate x plus 8 minus 3 that conjugate will be multiplied on both the numerator and the denominator that is x plus 8 plus 3 square root of x plus 8 plus 3 this is x minus 1 x approaches 1 so this is f prime of 1 f prime of 1 now is equal to Multiplying this, of course, the radical sign will be, of course, removed. Negative 3 plus 3 is, of course, 9. Over x minus 1 multiplied by square root of x plus 8 plus 3. Okay, so this is the limit of as x approaches 1. So this one now is... Limit of x minus 1 over x minus 1 times square root of x plus 8 plus 3. This will be cancelled as x approaches 1. Let us now substitute 1 here. So this is equal to 1. Nothing is left in the numerator. Therefore, that is 1. That is square root of 1 plus 8 plus 3. So, 1 plus 8 is, of course, 9. The square root of 9 is 3. So, that will be equal to 
1 over 6. Because square root of 9 is 3 plus 3 is 6. So f prime of 1 is equal to 1.